on how to make glossy buttons. So you can also use these steps in order to make any piece of graphic or text uh, glossy and give it the, that web 2.0 look. Okay, so what you need to do first is open up Photoshop. So I'm doing this tutorial on Photoshop and I'm using the latest version which is CS4. So depending on what version you're using, it should, really shouldn't matter because the steps and location of these uh, tools here are pretty much the same. Okay, so if you don't have Photoshop, you can actually download a free 30-day trial version at adobe.com and you'll see the download section. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is open a new file here. Just click on File New and putting the width of about 400 and height about 100 pixels. Okay, so this is, I'm going to start just making a button like a nice add to cart button okay that we can all use in the end okay so let's first choose our color i'm going to make this a nice yellow goldish color okay so something like this almost close to orange okay so then we're going to select this tool here this rectangle rectangle tool and making sure that the radius is about 20 20 pixels okay so this will basically give it a curve for the corners as you can see the, the curves on the corner so the more pixels you put in the radius the more rounded it will be okay so 20 will do for now okay it's very typical for a button and what we're going to do next as you can see this is just a solid color and looks pretty much plain so what we're going to do is add the gloss okay we can also add some gradient but uh, I'm just going to focus on adding a nice gloss to this all you need to do is just press control and then selecting as you can see this layer here what, what you did basically was it created a new layer and what we're going to do is just select this and it automatically selects the shape as you can see and the perforated dots here and then what we're going to do next is click on modif select modify and then we're going to contract it which will decrease the selection by how many you put in here how many pixels so two would be good okay so we're just going to test this out first it really depends on how big your button is so if your button's like half the size then a con if you contract it by one pixel that will be enough okay but this button is quite big 400 pixels wide so two or three will, will do okay so that should look something like this and then what we're going to do next is as you can see here instead of choosing the paint bucket tool so you just click this hold it and then click on gradient tool so then we can select this here this foreground color choosing white okay i'm going to choose white and then from this menu here we're going to select the foreground to transparent which should be about the second option okay the first option is foreground to background color the second is foreground to transparent so selecting that and then now here you can see a little button uh, to create a new layer so i'm going to select click on that Okay, so now I've got a new layer. I don't want to do it on top of this. And all you're going to do is just hold the shift key so that it locks and keeps it aligned. So if I hold shift, it keeps uh, it gives it a straight line so then I don't mess up. Uh, if I don't hold the shift key, then as you can see, uh, it will be a little more difficult to keep it straight. So if I hold the shift key, it's going to automatically make it straight. So if I select from the top to the bottom, it will basically give it this look here. Uh, I just deselected it. Okay, so if I just undo that, and if I want a plastic look, give it a little bit of plastic look, then I'll start the gradient from the top till about here, so quarter of the way. So that's going to give it a little bit of uh, shine on the top, okay, like a plastic look. So let's just go back to the other effect that we just created before. So if I just drag it from the top to the bottom and then making sure that this layer is selected, I'm going to decrease the opacity. 
and customizing it. Okay, so about 80 maybe. It all depends on how much uh, gloss you want on the actual button. Okay, so as simple as that, you've got your your raw glossy button there. You can also add more effects like giving it some gradient for this orange button here. So once all that's done, the easiest part is adding the text. So you just click on text tool and then selecting anywhere here. And I'm going to just type in here, add to cart and then making it bigger. Of course, we can change the text to something that's not as common as uh, Arial. Okay, so uh, Mirrored Web Pro, something like that. And then maybe giving it some drop shadow here. Drop shadow and then distance, decreasing it to about one size about one so now it's got that solid drop shadow there so same concept goes if you're creating like a header graphic too so header graphic is typically 650 in width and height about let's say 150 so now this is actually zoomed out because i actually decreased the size of the photoshop window so if i click on actual size this is the actual size so I'm going to repeat the same steps. Let's choose a different color this time, like a blue color, dark blue. And I'm just going to fill this in. So this is the background layer. So if I just decrease this a bit, you can see here layers, this is the background and make a new, new layer here. And then using these same steps, you know, I could easily just change a color. Now this time I, I don't need a I don't need to contract, okay, from here because it's not a button and, you know, you could do it with a header too, but uh, it's just much simpler if I just use uh, the gradient tool on top of this, okay, like so, then uh, I'll decrease the shine here to my liking, okay. And again, if you have a picture and you want to make it glossy, then you, you can use the same steps as well. So I'm going to create a new layer and then using the gradient tool, making sure that the foreground is white and this is foreground to transparent. And now this time I can actually drag it from the corner here, as you can see. So it's got a nice shine from the starting from the corner. I could do it from the top or anywhere else. So I'm just going to put the shine from the right corner here and then I could also decrease how much uh, of this layer uh, appears. So this little effect here does make a big difference to the look of your graphics. So implement it today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm looking forward to sharing more video tutorials with you.